Hey YouTube, uh, Cal here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to get a virus off of a computer. <clears throat> so my computer was recently infected with a really, really bad virus. It was a really sophisticated, and so I went on YouTube, and I searched how to get rid of the virus without um, uh, an antivirus program. And what they told me to do is to uh, go to this thing called command prompt and just open that up and then enter some codes and stuff to get rid of the virus. But what happened was every time I entered command prompt, the virus was so smart that it would actually um, close out of command prompt so I couldn't open it and couldn't use it to get rid of the virus. And then another thing is regedit. I don't know if you've heard of that, but they also told me to use that, and that, it would also close. So th what the virus would do is close any application that could be used to uninstall it. It was really sophisticated. I was kind of impressed, even though it was ruining my computer. Because uh, I couldn't go online at all. Um, basically, the virus took over the whole computer. The I mean, I, I couldn't do anything. And it, the, way to, the only way to get rid of it was to pay 60 bucks for the antivirus program. But the pr program itself was actually a scam. That's what gave me the virus in the first place. So, I mean, none of the YouTube videos worked. I mean, Command Prompt will pro and Regedit will probably work for you. Just go online and search YouTube or whatever for it. But, um, and for some reason, if for some reason it's a really good virus, or there's no such thing as a good virus, a really um, newer virus or sophisticated virus, and it closes out of those applications what you're, like it did to me, what you're going to want to do is shut down your computer, wait for it to shut down, okay, um, so the computer shut down, and now, when it started back up, and while it's starting back up, press F8 repeatedly, until this comes up, and so what this is, is, wait, okay, there we go, is, uh, you know, a lot of you people, a lot of you have seen this before, it's like, you know, start Windows normally, reboot, safe mode, safe mode with networking, safe mode with command prompt. So the easiest way is to go to one called last known good configuration, your most recent settings that worked. And so, go ahead until that's highlighted, and then click enter. And then, click enter. And so what that's going to do is it's going to go onto your computer, into your saved files or whatever, and um, find the last time that the computer was working properly. And so I'm pretty sure this will work for you. I mean, it worked for me, and I had a really sophisticated virus. So, um, what it, so yeah, I mean, it takes away the virus pretty much. I don't know if it entirely gets rid of it or not. But I started the computer. I shut that in the computer again after I did this. Started back up again normally, and the virus is gone. Yeah, I mean, it just disappeared. So I don't know if it somehow removes the virus or something, but for some reason it did. It worked for me, at least. Um, I hope it works for you too. <laughs> so I'm just gonna log on here. Okay, so then when I logged back on, um, the virus was just gone. I mean, it didn't have any messages saying I was infected or anything. It just, the virus was gone. And I can use uh, uh, the internet again. Wait for it to load. I mean, so I went from having my computer totally taken over by a virus to being totally fine. I don't have internet, so this isn't going to load. But as you can see, what would happen is if I put Google Chrome up, um, it would say, this file has been infected. You can't use it. Oh, I do have internet connection. And it would shut down Google Chrome. So it had the ability to shut down applications, which is pretty impressive, even though it was just trying my computer. So, yeah. Um, try that. Leave a comment. Click the like button. Uh, it really helps me. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.